And hello YouTube, this is GS Mousemart. And I'm here today with a brand new YouTube video tutorial. And I know I haven't made one in a while. I've been quite busy with lots of things. And um, today when I was looking through my videos and all the views and all the comments that I saw, I told myself, you know, why not make another video? <clears throat> so here I am making another video. And we're going to be focusing on today uh, Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Now, uh, I believe this works in CS6 as well. So I think you can use this tutorial if you're using CS6 as well. I'm not sure. I never used. I think I used CS6 once, but I didn't really do much with it. And um, yeah, but um, the Adobe Premiere Pro is basically an advanced version of Windows Movie Maker. And if you're still using Windows Movie Maker, you can go to my channel. I have tutorials on how to use Windows Movie Maker. But today we're going to be looking at Premiere Pro. And we're going to be teaching you how to use, or how to, yeah, how to use video effects and video transitions for your videos, and how to import those, basically, and how to have your videos be affected by them, and make your videos look more cool, I guess. I basically recorded some random footage of me. One of them is me on Facebook playing some random game. And another one is of me on my desktop moving my mouse around or whatever. Now as you can see, without any without any video transition, watch how these videos go by. Alright, we're getting there. Alright, so without any transitions, you're basically jumping from one video to the next. There's no transition. If you want that, well then great. You don't need to do much. All you gotta do is go up to File, Export, Media. So, now, but for those of you who want transitions, which is obviously why I'm making this video, so... What you wanna go to is go to the Effects box right here. Now, your effect box may be somewhere else on your screen. Maybe you moved it somewhere by accident. Maybe you can't find it at the bottom here. If you moved anything, all you have to do is go to Windows up here. And you're gonna go ahead and go to workspace and you're gonna reset reset and you're gonna press reset current workspace. What this will do, it'll basically change everything back to the default. And you'll be able to find the effects box right there. And um, basically that's where everything is. That's where all of your effects, all of your transitions and everything basically here is. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to video transitions, click the down arrow, and here are all these subfolders. These are basically all the these are basically all the general effects. Now, if you click one folder and you click the down arrow, you'll get all the specific effects, as you can see. Now, for the standard fade in, fade out, you might think they don't have it, but it's actually under dissolve. So, all these additive dissolve, cross dissolve, all these are basically the standard fade in, fade out. Just they they appear differently. But we're going to be using something different today, just for the heck of it, because I just feel like it. So we're going to use a wipe wipe effect. So let's use, why not, the first one here. Now, depending on where you put this transition, transition will depend on what it does. If you put it at the beginning of your video, you're going to get something like that. Your video will basically come in through the transition. Now, if you want, if you put it at the end of your video, it will also do something different as we watch right now it will basically go from your video to blackness now if you put them between two video clips like this you'll get that basically from one video to the next video now they have they have tons of these different transitions. So if you're doing like a picture slideshow, it's a great way to you know make the slideshow a little more exciting, I guess you can say. Now that's how you do transitions. Um, I think I think you can also you can also uh, you can make your transitions bigger. For example, if you want it to come in slower, you obviously have to go make it longer. So all you gotta do is hover your mouse over the ends of the transition and move it to the left or to the right and it goes smaller and obviously the bigger your transition is the the longer it will take for it to happen and the, the slower. 
the slower and the longer now if you go and put it very small like this it will obviously be faster now if you want to zoom in you have to you have to use this little box right here and you have to go and move it like that and you can zoom all the way in and you can really make this really fast if you wanted to you can even you, you could probably make it even faster like right there all right but that's transition that's basically how you do transitions and you can add them all over the place you can add them in the beginning you can add them in all three places if you want beginning end and between two videos so that's basically it for transitions now if you have some audio you can do audio transitions as well now make sure that when you have audio if you have audio you, you put it in this channel right here the a1 channel If you put it in the v1 channel it's not going to do anything so make sure you always why is my mouse acting up make sure you always put your audio transitions in the a channel now your audio transitions are also in this little effects box right here audio transitions now they only have one which is crossfade and that's really only the only thing you need there's nothing else you can possibly do or you would want to do so that's all you basically need here which is the the standard crossfade basically fading fading out and you know the usual now let's go to video effects video effects will basically change the way your video looks so say we say we want to use generate why not generate and say you want to use checkerboard now I've never used this effect so I have no idea what it does if it even does anything well that's what it does it basically generates checkered boards well that's not really what I want to do I want it like I wanted a different type of effect let's use distort there we go alright so this so these effects will basically distort the way change the way you, the way your video looks this is just one effect now in this little box right here this is called the effect controls here you can change everything about the effect all the settings anything about the effect that you might want to change it can all be found here and as you see I'm, I'm changing everything in this little effect here and you can basically make it however you want see how this looks pretty crazy right now let's go ahead and look through it look at that look at that. that looks pretty that looks pretty cool but yeah, so basically, all you gotta do, literally, with any of these effects or transitions, is basically click it and drag it onto your timeline here, wherever you want to put it. And yeah, that's basically it, really. There's not much else to it. If you want to delete effects, for example, say you don't like this effect and you want to put another effect, then you obviously might want to delete the effect you already put there. You're, all you have to do is basically just press the down arrow on this effect here and all you gotta do is press delete and it'll go away same thing with this one if you don't want this effect anymore delete if you want to delete transitions since I didn't show you how to do that I did it but I didn't really show you how to do it very easy all you gotta do is click the brown box here and press delete press the backspace arrow I mean the backspace button on your keyboard and it'll delete it and that's basically it guys there's not much else to cover here it's simply just clicking and dragging onto your video and placing it somewhere and then playing around with the options with the settings and that's basically it so I hope you learned how to add video effects and video transitions and we touched on audio transitions a little bit um, and I hope you take this and apply it to your videos. If you have any questions about anything, leave it in the comments. I do reply to all the comments that are below there. And if you don't have a Google Plus account yet, 
I don't think Google or I mean I don't think YouTube will allow me to reply to you because of their messed up system and I just don't understand it a lot of people are mad about it so if you want me to reply to your comment then make sure you have a Google Plus account because as I was going through comments about an hour ago and a lot of people uh, some people commented and I couldn't reply to them because I'm guessing it was because I didn't have a Google Plus account I'm not even sure what the issue is but all I know is messed up but this is this isn't a video about YouTube being messed up. It's a video about this. So that, that was it, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like. To subscribe. I have plenty of other tutorials on my channel about all different kinds of programs. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And this is GS Man of Smart, and I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere.